welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I break down Tyler Perry's Ruthless scene by scene. Now, let's get into this video. I haven't said that in so long, I almost got tongue-tied just saying it. And hence the channel name, Ruthless TV, this is why and how I actually started the channel. So I am completely overjoyed that they're returning on November the 25th. And y'all know we have a whole lot of unfinished business to take care of, right? First, starting with Sarah. We need to know who was in that bathroom, even if it was Sarah, and who actually shot the person in the shower. A lot of people are saying that it was Sarah's cousin and that it's not actually her. Then we also heard that it wasn't Oliver who actually shot the person in the shower. So we definitely need to start here with what happened in that bathroom. And this is just one of many. There are so many unanswered questions and unresolved issues that will hopefully get resolved right at the top half of the end of season two. Another unanswered question is why hasn't anyone come looking for Lilo? Once all that money stopped moving and Lilo hadn't reported back, that alone should have raised some red flags, right? But no one has come looking for Lilo. And something else in relation to Lilo is the highest actually convinced Joan to keep some of the money that they're supposed to send back to the cartel. So if they're hoarding some of the money, why would they need to sell Callie back to her father? Because that's over $100,000, right? So if they got all this money, there would be no real need to sell Kelly back. Is it greed or did something go wrong when they were trying to hoard the money? And Lilo should be good and stinking right about now, right? I just don't know how they're able to avoid the smell of a dead body on the compound and not say anything. And something else that has gone unresolved is what is Ruth's final test? Y'all remember after her and the highest had their escapade? He said that she was going to have a big test coming up where her loyalty to him would be tested. So I'm wondering if that's going to even come up in the second half of season two and the next issue has been unresolved for quite some time when is ruth and tally's baby coming now we all know that ruth is just full of it right she was never pregnant to begin with she was just using that for special privileges then when tally got caught with musty yancey she told andrew that her cycle was late then i think she actually went back to being pregnant again so i don't know what's going on with the pregnancies which is why it's another unresolved issue next on my list is dicon and the highest. I need to know if Daikon is actually going to find out that Ruth has also been sleeping with the highest because we already know that the highest knows about Daikon and Ruth. Well, he's in high suspense that they've been fooling around, right? And if you ask me, they're both in love with Ruth, period. I mean, they can't get enough of her. So this is where I was mentally after episode nine. But let me know what you guys think. Did I miss something? Do I need to add more to the list? And one more thing I almost forgot. Last month, I did a poll on the community tab and I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to review season one of Ruthless. 121 people voted and it was 53% uh, said that they would like full length review videos of Ruthless. So I will definitely try to get these posted for you guys. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're a Ruthless fan and if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much once again, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.